dairy sector. The United Na this is about fisheries department. The United Nations General Assembly has declared 2022 as International Year of Artisanal Fisheries and Aquaculture Holistic Development of the sector is a matter of emphasis for the government. Providing high quality fish products at affordable price and generating employment is an area of focus for my government. Model fish vending units and hygienic transportation support will be ensured for the empowerment of fisherwomen. Also, government's flagship program, Punar Geham, will focus on providing safe dwelling to fishers who are residing within 50 meters of high tide line. My government is committed to promote fish farming in all suitable water bodies in the state with an objective of doubling the aquaculture production from 34,000 tons to 70,000 tons within five years. Cooperative government governance will be strengthened through the comprehensive legal reforms and regulation of audit and inspection of the cooperative sector. A monitoring system, cooperative audit monitoring and information was introduced for reviewing the updation of audit and financial condition of cooperative societies. New generation banking facilities will be made available to the members of Kerala Bank through the implementation of common accounting software. The Mutate Mullah Microfinance Scheme has been implemented through Kutumshri units all over the state to protect the people from private money lenders. 1536.96 crore rupees have been dispersed through 407,796 Kutum Shri units. Isneha Theorem, a micro loan scheme, will be implemented for fishermen, workers, and small traders in the coastal region. As part of attracting young entrepreneurs and service providers to cooperative sector, 30 youth cooperative societies have been registered and have been functioning under the Department of Cooperation. Yuva Cooperative Societies for Promoting SCST Youth will be registered in all districts. Industries. My government has been taking up many initiatives to energize and stimulate the business environment in the state. Legislative, procedural and digital reforms were introduced with the aim of bringing in ease of doing business to the industry. The Statutory Grievance Redressal Committee is a novel initiative wherein all complaints, grievances of existing entrepreneurs will be addressed in a time-bound manner. This committee has the power of a civil court, centralized inspection system ensures that necessary and repeated inspections are avoided. Automatic approvals for MSMEs highlights the change in the government's approach from investigation or inquiries to issuance of approvals on self-declarations. Around 11,878 
एम एस एम ई एक्नोलिज सर्टिफिकेट्स दैट इज इंस्टेंट अप्रूवल्स फॉर स्टार्टिंग एम एस एम ईज हैव बीन इशूड इन द स्टेट ऑनलाइन सिस्टम ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल लैंड अलॉटमेंट इज अवेलेबल नाउ द स्टेट हैज मेड considerable progress in implementing business reforms under the ease of doing business program ranking made by niti aayog on innovation index has placed kerala at 10th place and the national council for applied economic research placed kerala on 6th position under the investment potential index the department has implemented the policy of strengthening public sector undertakings the department has taken over two central psus hindustan news print limited in kotayam and bheleml in kasargod the instrumentation limited will also be taken over in the current financial year master plans were prepared for modernization diversification and expansion of psus my government proposes to develop an online platform for linking the manufacturers consumers and logistic companies for creating e market through this even a small household nano enterprise will find market for its products the government will provide managerial and entrepreneurship training for the starters as well as the established entrepreneurs to scale up their business following initiatives will be the focus of my government in this fiscal year the private industrial park scheme will be launched this year making it possible for private individual to establish an industrial park government will extend assistance towards infrastructure development in the park a new program giving impetus to ESG is being promoted in the state to bring in responsible investment and responsible industries thereby making kerala the ESG destination of india the strategic areas for attracting investment are electronic manufacturing life sciences including pharma petrochemical industries aviation food processing e mobility and defense sectors the department is also focused on developing kochi palakkad industrial corridor for developing integrated manufacturing center for attracting large scale investments mega food processing park in chertala kerala paper products limited and kerala rubber limited will start functioning during 2022 it is proposed to establish logistic parks with multi modal transport heads for rail road and airway traffic KSWIFT version 3 which will incorporate more services of the existing departments and agencies and by on boarding more departments agencies fast track development of 